Hi, today you're going to learn 25 idioms that you can use in your everyday conversation. I have chosen these 25 idioms or expressions because they are ones that I use every day in my daily life and I hope that you can also add them to your English vocabulary. If you're new here, my name is Miranda. I'm an English teacher from the US and this is my channel where I bring you lessons on English grammar and vocabulary. If you enjoy my lesson and want to learn more, then please don't hesitate to like this video and subscribe for more lessons. The first idiom I have for you is to bite the bullet. This means that you should force yourself to do something that may be unpleasant because it is inevitable and you have to do it anyway. For example, if you want to quit your job, but you're afraid to approach your boss, then I might tell you, just bite the bullet. You have to do it. Just bite the bullet and phone him up. The second expression I would like to teach you is, it's not rocket science. What does this mean? This means that something is not complicated. If your friend has to put together IKEA furniture and is complaining that it's too complicated, you could tell him, well, just watch a YouTube video on how to put together that furniture. Come on, it's not rocket science. You can learn it. The next idiom I'd like to teach you is the best of both worlds. You can use this expression to say that you have the advantage of two things without having to sacrifice one of them. For example, if you can't decide if you would rather live in the city or the country, because in the city it's very convenient, um, but in the country it's very peaceful, then you can buy a small apartment in the city and a small apartment in the country instead of one big house, and you can have the best of both worlds. You don't have to give anything up. The next expression I'd like to teach you is, I can't wrap my head around something. If somebody tells you they can't wrap their head around it, that means they can't understand the logic of something. Like if your friend divorces her amazing husband and marries a complete jerk who doesn't treat her well, then you could just say, well, I, I can't wrap around my head around it. I don't understand what's going on. I just can't wrap my head around it. So this next one is an everyday idiom that simply means, I don't know. And it's, your guess is as good as mine. So if someone asks you a question like, do you know where my friend is? She was here five minutes ago and she's gone. Your guess is as good as mine. That means I don't know any more than you know. Your guess is as good as mine. The next idiom I'd like to teach you is don't count your chickens before they're hatched. This just means that you shouldn't count on something happening in the future because nothing is for sure. Don't think you're going to have a lot of money in three years because you play the lottery. This is counting your chickens before they're hatched. So this next expression I use when I think someone is not talented and it's don't quit your day job. So if my friend plays the violin for me and it sounds terrible, I can simply say, it's a little bit mean, but I could say, don't quit your day job. And that basically means that you're not so talented that you can live off this hobby, but it's a little bit of a mean joke, but people say it all the time, don't quit your day job. This next expression you can use when someone is daydreaming or not paying attention and it's your head is in the clouds. I don't understand the homework tonight because my head was in the clouds while the teacher was explaining it to me. This next expression is to shape up or to ship out. Two phrasal verbs in one idiom. This means that you should Try harder and do a better job, or you should leave. Shape up or ship out. If you're being lazy at work and not pulling your weight, then your boss might tell you to either shape up or ship out. 
The next idiom is to beat around the bush. This is when you talk and talk and you avoid answering a question or you avoid getting to the point that you're supposed to make because there's some reason that you don't want to. For example, my friend was talking and talking and beating around the bush because she didn't want to tell me that she had forgotten to buy me a birthday present. The next idiom is once in a blue moon. When something happens once in a blue moon, it means it is a seldom occurrence. So I don't see my cousins very often, but once in a blue moon, I will go visit them. To twist someone's arm. If someone twists your arm, it means they persuaded you to do something that you didn't want to do. We sometimes use this idiom sarcastically. For example, someone asks you to eat a piece of cake but you're on a diet, then you might say, oh, I can't eat that piece of cake because I'm on a diet. Okay, twist my arm, I'll eat that piece of cake. That means it wasn't my decision, it was your decision. You persuaded me to do something. This next idiom is to go Dutch. If you go Dutch or if it's a Dutch treat, that means that if you are out with someone, maybe in a restaurant where there's a bill, then everyone pays for themselves instead of one person treating the other person. Maybe if you and your friend are both having financial problems and you go to dinner, one of you might say, okay, but let's go Dutch so that it's not too expensive for either one of you. The next idiom is to feel under the weather. If you feel under the weather, it means you don't feel well. It simply means you don't feel well. Maybe you're not sick, you're not, you don't have fever or temperature or stomach ache. You just don't feel right. So I'm under the weather today, so I don't have time to meet you. This next one is speak of the devil. When you speak of the devil, this is an idiom that means you were speaking about someone when they appeared or when they phoned. So maybe if I'm talking to my colleague about another colleague and then that colleague walks in the room, we'll say, speak of the devil. The next idiom is good things come in small packages. Sometimes we say dynamite comes in small packages. And you can use this idiom to say that just because something is small doesn't mean that it's not good or valuable. So if your friend gives you a tiny, tiny, little, teeny, tiny present and you look disappointed because it's so small, she might say, hey, good things come in small packages. You could also use this idiom in a metaphorical sense. For example, if there's a small incidence that happens, that doesn't mean it's insignificant. It could be very important. Then you can also say dynamite comes in small packages. The next idiom is it takes two to tango. If your friends are having a fight and you only hear one side of the story from one friend, then you have to consider that it takes two to tango. Don't judge until you hear both sides. The next idiom is, it costs an arm and a leg. This simply means that something is expensive. Do you like my new jacket? Well, it cost an arm and a leg. Okay, another idiom that I use quite often is, let's call it a day. To call it a day means that it's the end of the work day, so let's finish our project or let's finish the work for the day. Maybe we have more work to do on this assignment, but I'm so tired, so let's just call it a day. The next expression is to turn a blind eye. What does this mean? It simply means that you see something bad happening, but you pretend not to notice because you don't want to get involved. For example, if you see somebody cheating on a test, but you don't want to get involved, you don't want to have the problem of confronting them or telling on them, then you might turn a blind eye and pretend not to notice. The next idiom is to be over the moon, another one with the moon. And this just means you're very, very happy. I was over the moon the last time I had a party with my friends. 
This next idiom you can use to say that something is obvious, so obvious that you don't even have to use your brain to make the decision or to know the answer. It's a no-brainer. A no-brainer means you don't have to use your brain. So if, you're, if you don't have very much money and you need to buy a car, then buying a used car is pretty much a no-brainer. Or taking public transportation is a no-brainer. If I can't afford anything more expensive, then the answer is clear and obvious. It's a no-brainer. The next expression is to read between the lines. When you read between the lines, it means that you infer from what is written or what someone says, even though something is not explicitly stated, you can feel the meaning by the tone of their voice or by the way something is worded. If, you're, if you ask your friend how she is and she says, Mm, I'm fine, everything's good. Then you have to read between the lines and see from her expression that she's actually quite sad. Read between the lines. So my next idiom is to kill two birds with one stone. And this means that you have the advantages of two things while only spending the energy on one. For example, if you would like to learn English and you would like to learn how to play tennis, then the obvious thing to do is to take tennis lessons from an English teacher or someone who speaks English, then you are learning tennis and English at the same time. You kill two birds with one stone. The next idiom is don't beat yourself up. You can use this idiom to make your friend feel better if maybe they made a mistake or they did something wrong and they feel bad about it, they have a guilty conscience or just feel down about it. You can say, don't beat yourself up. It means don't be hard on yourself. It's okay, don't beat yourself up. There's no use getting upset about it now. And the last idiom is to be on the fence about something. This means that you can't make a decision. For example, if you're not sure if you want to go back to school to study something or if you want to concentrate on your career, then you can say, actually, I'm on the fence. I don't know which one I'm going to do. I haven't decided yet. I'm on the fence. If you've enjoyed learning these idioms or would like to learn more idioms, then I'd like you to check out the links in the description box. I have two idiom games and an idiom blog article that you could read up on. And like I said before, I'm always happy to hear about ideas you have for further videos. So you can also let me know in the comments. Also let me know what your favorite English idiom is. Thanks for joining me. Take care and until next time, bye bye.